What did the doctor say to Paula Dean? You butter not. Shut up and sit down. Hello, friends. How are you doing today? That's fascinating because I can't hear a single one of you. So I hope you're great. It is a new year and a lot of people have made New Year's resolutions. One of them might be getting a new job. I mean, me personally, I have like jobs at the wazoo. I think technically right now I have like four jobs and still none of them are enough to pay my bills, but that's besides the point. Aeroplane flying by, flying by, aeroplane, take me under your wing and fly me away. I wrote that song just for you. Inspiration. Damn. I should have said because I'm fly. Would have been a better pun. That nah, better pun next time. So anyways, as someone who is gainfully employed at the moment, is that, is that, is that even the right grammar? Um, and as someone who has had to interview people and actually hire them uh, via my last job, I thought I could give you some pointers and show you how I get ready in the morning on the day of an interview. So without further ado, take it away, me. The first thing I like to do in the morning is make a delicious pot of coffee. Notice I'm using a filter. That's important because during the interview, I want to make sure that I use my filter so that, well, to be quite honest, I don't say anything stupid so I don't look like an idiot. All right, add the water so you can at least have a couple of helpings. Put the pot right in there. Turn it on, and then like a witch, we wait for things to get brewing. Perfect, now we have our delicious pot of coffee. Mm, pour it in right there, nice and slow, so you don't spill any, you don't waste anything. Put the pot back there. All right, perfect, better than crack. Speaking of crack, don't forget the sugar and the liquid sugar, because America, it's pretty sweet. Now I remind myself that I'm on a diet. So I only add a teeny tiny bit of creamer to my coffee. Same with the sugar. In LA, the hip thing to do is diet. We want to be cool. We want to be hip. We want to be trendy. Portion control, people. Stir it up. And now we have our coffee. So go ahead and take a sip. Mmm, tastes like adulthood. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot we were on a diet and you're not supposed to have any sugar. Gross! Oh, gross. How could we be so stupid and forget? That's disgusting. We're just, we're just gonna pour it out. Just, just pour it out. Ugh, there we go. After I make myself a cup of coffee without sugar, I like to take some time to reflect and get mentally prepared for this interview. And I just think to myself, what is it that I want to get out of this job? I mean, man, shoot, what is it that I want to get out of life? What, what even is life? What does it even mean to exist? Was that dress black and blue or was it white and gold? Is the answer to Christmas really in a Starbucks cup? Maybe it's all just a conspiracy. Maybe life is a conspiracy and Donald Trump has the winning hand at this card game. Oh my God, too deep, too deep. Snap out of it. Better not forget breakfast. Now, mornings can be hectic. Everyone's running around. Everyone's trying to get ready at the same time. But breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Now, if you break that word down, the last part of that word is fast. So sometimes, you just gotta keep it simple. There you go. Mmm, tasty. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. Butter is a carb and we're on a diet. Spit it out. Hurry, spit it out! Ew, carbs! No carbs, rinse your mouth out quick. Spray tan, more like spray your pan, am I right? Ooh, organic. So I always choose to have an egg-siding breakfast in the morning. So I'm going to turn on the stove, and then I'm going to get this breakfast cracking like so. One, two, three, bam! Like that. Ooh, one-handed. Oh my god, again, I'm so talented. Don't flip out, flip your eggs, and put them on a plate, like so. I then like to take the time to remind myself that I'm the breadwinner of this household, and to go green, because if you want to get the green, you gotta eat the green. And to make things more appealing, I add some fruit to my diet. 
just like Drake, we started from the bottom, now we're here. And there you go, we have our breakfast. Ooh. Oh, don't forget to feed your kids. See, he loves it. Om nom nom nom. And finally, I sit down to enjoy the delicious breakfast that I made. And oh my god, I forgot my fork. I'm so stupid sometimes. Now, while I'm eating, I try and remember to use my manners, because even though I'm alone, you want to get prepared for the interview. You want the interviewer to think that you have great manners, that you're capable, that you're competent, that you're intelligent. Nobody likes a caveman who licks his plate clean, you know what I'm saying? Now on to wardrobe. You want to make sure that you dress to impress and you look like a professional. So what are you going to wear? You could show me your home run and dress 40. Or you could really strip down those layers, dress like Magic Mike, you know, keep it simple. Or you could look like this guy. Personally though, I like to wear the clothes that I wore out the night before with the vodka stain. It shows that I can look professional and still have a great time. Looking good. Halitosis is the grossest, so I make sure to brush my teeth. I also make sure that when I brush my teeth, I give a thorough brushing. I would hate to leave food anywhere on my face. It would be embarrassing. Speaking of embarrassing, pretend like you're a little kid and you just said a bad word and wash your mouth out. And last but not least, I like to prepare myself for any hairy situations I might come across. And there you have it. You're all set. Yas, yeah, and there you have it. That is how I get ready in the morning when I have an interview coming up. Hopefully this video helped. It probably didn't, but that's okay. If I could give you any real advice, it would honestly be just be yourself. And I know that I could say that to you about pretty much anything. <laughs> and that sounds like a cop out, but truly, if you really are excited about the job, um, and you give eye contact, you smile, and you're just yourself, uh, you're gonna do great. Unless you don't, and then that means you suck. But, you know, that's, that's not my problem, sorry. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe, maybe not. You know, who knows? Free will. It's a, it's a thing. If you did like it, you can do this thing called subscribing to my channel because that's a thing you can do to validate my feelings as a human. And isn't that what we're all just striving for in the first place? Validation. Validation, especially parking in LA, because parking is expensive, so validating your parking is a great way to save money. Uh, also, give this video a thumbs up, and hopefully, my goal is to start putting more videos out every month for your entertainment. Lucky you. So until next time, peace, love, and lots of hugs. Mwah! I realized that the joke I made at the beginning of this video might have been a teeny tiny bit insensitive. My bad. So I just wanted to take the time to apologize about it.